Hey everyone. Um, I'm basically here to talk about my experience with WBFF recently at WBFF Worlds in Vegas and also comparing and discussing the differences between WBFF and NPC. NPC, I competed many times before. So what I know of competing on stage for Bikini Division is from having a background in MPC. Um, that being said, I wanted to try WBFF because whenever I see it in pictures, um, I always was, I was always, you know, really intrigued by how glamorous it is, how entertaining it is just so different from what the bikini division uh, in NPC is. Um, so first I'm just gonna talk about just like how WBFF, from what I know from the research that I've done on their website, what differences, where they came from versus NPC, where they came from and what they're looking for in bikini division. So um, WBFF, is an organization that started in 2007. Um, basically, on um, what they want to do is they want to provide an arena for contestants to develop and companies in the industry to grow. So that is their their big overall um, their priority. Versus NPC is more showcasing specific uh, athletes uh, depending on their physique, right? It's the same thing for WVFF, but WVFF is more of a, it's a, more of a production. It's more of an event. And um, let's see, they want to maximize growth and exposure for key media companies and industry insiders uh, versus NPC like I said, is more about specifics as far as what they're looking for in each body type. So for bikini specifically, uh, on their website for WBFF, it does say that it is primarily a beauty contest. For NPC, it's more of specifics. They're looking at your symmetry, your balance, your conditioning, your posing. They are taking your hair, your tan, your suit, your makeup overall. Uh, WBFF is the same, but they're also looking at your shoes. They're looking at the whole style of your outfit, how it showcases your personality on stage. It's more like you can customize it to what you think will portray your personality more. Um, <clears throat> In MPC, you have to wear clear heels. In WBFF, they want you to show your style with your heels. You, I've seen girls with so many crystals all over it. I've seen girls with like feathers on their heels. It's like wherever you take it, they want to see like a glamorous kind of uh, appealing look to the heels. And they also suggest that you wear four to six inches stiletto pumps uh, versus at PC, I don't think there's a certain height that you have to wear. Um, <clears throat> there are height classes in MPC, WBFF. There's anybody that's under 5'4 is in bikini short. Anybody that's over 5'4 is in bikini tall. I was in bikini tall, so a lot of the amateurs that I was competing against, you know, they could range for someone that's my height or someone that's like, you know? <laughs> So <laughs> it was very interesting to see um, the differences in all of the body shapes and sizes. Um, for National Physique Committee, they will physically take you to a wall when you register and they will measure you. They'll measure your height and they'll tell you, you know, which class you're going to be in. And for WBFF, when you sign up online, um, you put in your height and then that's it. Like they don't measure you physically once you're there registering. 
Registration day for WBFF was quite an experience. You have to dress up. You have to be like, it's almost like a gala event. It's an event in itself. There are photos being taken. Um, everybody's like meeting and greeting each other. Um, there's, it's like, it's a, it's a huge event. So it's part of the experience. You have to dress up. Registration for NPC, you know, everybody's in flip-flops, everybody has their hair tied back, and they're in hoodies, and, <laughs> you know, you register, and you go back to your hotel room. Uh, WBFF registration day was a social event. You meet and greet, you, you know, take pictures with the pros. The pros were all amazing to finally meet, and even the people that aren't pros, like people that I just follow just because they're inspiring and they compete in WBFF. They were there, so it was really nice to meet everybody. Um, so yeah, so that was that's the differences between Registration Day. They also have a media day, and the media day is basically um, everybody takes pictures. Everybody was required to wear white, and they took professional pictures depending on where what country you're representing. So. USA, you have to represent, you have to take a picture with all the USA contestants. Uh, South Africa, Australia, Korea, gosh, what else is there? There's just so many countries. There's a lot of people representing different countries. So that was cool too. Um, there isn't a media day for NPC. And so that was cool too. And oh, with um, WBFF, there's a transformation division. That's really awesome to be witnessing um, people that have lost 50 to 100 pounds and they get to be on stage and, and tell their story of how they lost so much weight and overcome like disease or injuries or just loss in their life. Um, or just in general, just becoming a completely different person. You know, when you lose that much weight, you're transforming literally into another person. And uh, I think that's so amazing that WBFF really recognizes that and has a division um, that showcases such a great thing to, wit to witness. Um, with WBFF, you are given 25 seconds to walk on stage and for this particular show it was a T walk sometimes they said that it could be an L walk or another type of walk but basically you go to the center of the backstage you walk to the front you do your poses you walk to the corner you do posing you walk to the other corner you do posing you walk back to the line so there's many opportunities to um, to, to do so many different types of posings and show your angles. And in case you mess up in one spot, well, guess what? You get to go to another spot and you get to pose even more. And knowing that you have a lot of opportunities to really give out your best angles and your best physique, that's kind of cool. I like that. NPC is more, you go to the center of the stage, you show your front, you transition to the back, you go back to the front, you thank the judges, and you leave. Um, so there's more structure in posing for MPC because they have specifics that they are looking for. With WBFF Bikini Diva Division, it is overall, like they want to feel everything from your walk, from the way you pose, your bikini, your shoes. They want to see all of that. Um, come together, come into place. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, what the requirements for bikini division doesn't necessarily, it doesn't have like a certain physique they're really looking for. They're looking for some, someone obviously like has some fitness background. Um, beauty is definitely the things they're looking at. And um, shoes, you know, all of that. So that was really interesting as well. I'm so used to being like the judges are going to look directly at, you know, my proportions and my glute and ham tie in and how lean my back is. So it was I had more opportunity to just kind of have fun on stage. So that was really fun. 
Um, the big difference also is that WBFF requires you to use their beauty team. Um, so that, that was a little off-putting considering, I mean, I'm a beauty professional. I, I pretty much have always done my hair and makeup for physique competitions and I've never had an issue with it. Tanning, I understand. Tanning, you want all the athletes to be looking their best and having the same kind of skin depth on stage in order to showcase muscle. Um, so you have to get tanning by them. You have to get your beauty services done by them. You are not allowed to use beauty service teams other than theirs. And they did, they did say that you will get points deducted if you do end up using another person's service other than what they are providing. NPC, they don't have that at all. Um, oh, also the other thing is when they are judging all the girls in the front, they allow side posing, which was very interesting to me. Side posing is something that I saw a lot in a Euro European shows. Um, so that was kind of cool to kind of practice a side pose. WBFF really wants to see all your angles. Uh, MPC doesn't, they don't judge side posing. Yes. Other than that, costs, I'm going to be really honest. WBFF is a very costly um, hobby. It cost me personally uh, $400. No, no, four hundred, four thousand dollars for this Vegas show. That's including hotel, bikini, shoes, evening gown, hair, tan. Um, registration for the event alone was over four hundred dollars just for one event. Versus NPC, you pay a yearly fee of like one twenty, and then you. Um, you just register for each show that you do, you just register, which is usually between like, what, 80 bucks? I'm not sure. So way less than what WBFF is doing for registration. Uh, coach, you know, it depends. You gotta, you gotta do your research and get a good coach. I have coached, I have coaches from, that were NPC judges. I've had coaches that were and that are pro athletes. I've had coaches that were, um, you know, just actual coaches that have a team. Um, and then I've had coaches that come from me medical backgrounds. I've had coaches that just come from fitness backgrounds. So I felt most comfortable with someone that had a little bit more history with nutrition and medical background. My coach was Sonia. Uh, she was amazing. She really, I couldn't have been happier with prep. I was able to eat a lot and lifting, my lifting sessions, my cardio sessions were nothing that I couldn't do compared to MPC, which requires you to be, for a, for a bikini, they're a little bit leaner. They're actually way leaner than WBFF girls. WBFF girls, um, they want an attainable but sustainable look is what they're looking for. So I would say a lot of the NPC girls that are getting ready for show, they're basically ready like four weeks before an NPC show, they could do like a WBFF show. Like they still want that lean fit look, but soft and not as lean as they, they get for NPC. So that was fun too, not having to worry about, oh, I gotta, I gotta lose so much water and I gotta look super lean. I gotta make sure like you can see like a lot of my muscles and um, that was that was nice. I didn't have to lean out as much as I'm used to. Um, so other than that, my final thoughts on, on it are you get what you pay for. I paid a lot to be a part of this show, but with good reason. It is a production. It is, you know, several events leading up to that day. Um, the types of hotels that they are having these events are, like it was held at the Bellagio in Vegas. It's one of the best hotels in Vegas. Um, 
it's definitely an entire experience that you're paying for. With NPC, it's more like you are paying for, obviously, to be on stage and to be judged against athletes. And uh, you're not really paying for like, ooh, um, you know, I'm paying in this really nice fancy hotel and everything like that. Like they put, WBFF puts their shows in really cool, like interesting places. Where, like, like they have one coming up in Amsterdam. That's really awesome. They have... They have many different ones. So what I, I like to think of WBFF as, you know how crazy awesome the Olympia is with the lights and like the everything, like it's showcased on the webcasted and it's like people are talking about it and, and all this stuff. That's kind of like how WBFF strives for for every show. Every show is a production. Every show is a huge event. Um, with red carpet and um, just da uh, dressing up and taking lots of professional photos, so that was that was really interesting to experience. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed it. I, you know, who doesn't want to get dressed up and go to special events and have your picture taken? I loved it. I love all of that. So that was really fun. Um, other than that, anything that I didn't cover, I'm not, sh I'm not sure I didn't cover anything, but it was a great experience. I'm so happy I did it. I got to meet so many cool, amazing people. I got exposure to, um, really good photographers that I'll be working with hopefully later in the future. Um... There, oh, that, that's another thing. They have a professional photographer that will take your picture backstage. So when you're completely all gussied up from head to toe, you are you have the option to take pictures with an amazing photographer, Dan. He took pictures, you know, with a white backdrop. So it's just showcasing you versus stage photos are like, you know, sometimes you may not have the best lighting. Sometimes they didn't catch your best posing. Sometimes you just want to just look at how amazing your physique is just by yourself, like not with anybody else around you. So that backstage photography option was was really great to, to have. And even if you didn't buy it, they would still take pictures so that you could think about it later. So that was really cool. Um, <clears throat> that being said, the photographers will take pictures of you and then you have the option to purchase. Everything is like you have to purchase like kind of a la carte. Everything is you can purchase so um oh thank you <laughs> i uh i was really happy with the pictures i put a lot of thought into my bikini my bikini was from samba couture she's an amazing designer um like i said in my previous post it was basically about representing my country uh from where my parents are from they're from ecuador and uh, I also wanted to represent the primary colors red, yellow, and blue because they represent making every other color possible. So I wanted to do like a little thoughtful idea to my suit and what I represented and how I think um, anything is possible, you know, with the right tools <laughs> or the right mindset, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, that's basically it. I, I put I put like notes so I could remember. Um, so yeah, WBFF and Paul Dillette, the CEO, he basically said he wanted to create something that competes with Miss Universe, Victoria's Secret, and Miss America. So that's pretty much the idea um, that you're getting when you want to compete with WBFF, which is such a great fun option to have when you are just done doing front pose, transition, back pose, coming from MPC, you know, if you want something a little bit different and more like extravagant and just like, just fun. It's really fun. That's what WBFF is. It's, you have a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun in MPC, but you get to have a little bit more fun with WBFF. And I cannot thank um, WBFF not enough to, uh, for letting me come to Vegas and, you know, 
being okay with my red hair and you know with MPC I had competed several times in MPC where I had to think about oh should I have my hair short on stage or should I do like you know what they're looking for which is what they're looking for is long hair and you know very natural and a wavy look and and with and with WBFF coming into WBFF I was completely confident in coming you know with the hair that I wanted to come in with you know the red hair and to have like this cool bikini that was a color different on each part of uh the outfit so it's it's so awesome that there's um or there's an organization that can you know give you the opportunity to just be your best, most colorful, crazy self. Um, I will be competing. I I don't even know. I want to compete definitely sooner than later. I would love to. But you know what? I love the idea that I can have some time to put some muscle on. And let's all be honest, it takes a while to put some decent muscle, especially on my frame. Um, if you see my mom, like, there's, <laughs> she's walking on like two little legs, you know, uh, it's, it takes a lot for me to actually put on substantial muscle on my legs. And I really want to balance that out because it's not that my legs are so small. It's that my upper back and my back in general is just so much bigger than most people. <laughs> so <laughs> it's really good. It's, I'm going to take this time to really be like, I need to put some muscle on my legs, all right? Uh, just to balance it out personally for me, to balance out the proportions with what I see in pictures. Um, my back is strong. Don't get me wrong, I love my back. I don't want I don't want to get a bigger back, but I love how big and muscular my back is. So I'm just kind of bringing my legs up to, you know, um, balance it out. And that's what I care about most, honestly, with competing. Like, I like bikini division because it's about balance, but there's still a little bit of a softness to it. And with MPC, just the Olympia just happening, and um, Angela Angelica Teshida, she won again for Olympia Bikini Pro. And I wasn't surprised. She has just the right amount of balance of softness but muscularity and I think MPC wants to reiterate that bikini is not going to continue becoming this whole like, oh whoever has the most muscular badass glutes with the freaking huge thunder thighs and like the tiniest little waist and like they're not looking for extreme extreme and I've, I've seen a lot of the time that a lot of athletes are like, oh my god you look unreal and I think for bikini like Paul is saying that they want an attainable but sustainable look they want a look for the bikini that is um, something that people can strive to that women can strive to have uh, with figure with fitness completely different ball games but with bikini it is about balance so it, it also has to it comes back to you know, what your your body shape is to begin with. What are you working with right now? So when they really say that you it's you versus you, it, it literally is. You're showcasing the best version of you um, in addition to what they're looking for. Balance, symmetry, conditioning. So what you can reach and strive for, for your body, you look at your body and you look how you can find the best symmetry, the best conditioning, the best balance with what you have. You know, everybody's skeletal structures are completely different and muscles, we can grow, we can make leaner or whatever. So <clears throat> I don't know where I'm getting to that. I'm just saying bikini is, is definitely trying to stay in the more sustainable, attainable look. I'm so congested. Okay, so that's it. I am... Happy that to share this info because I, I really did want to discuss my experience with WBFF and I want everybody else to hear it because um, I like to observe a lot in what I experience and I like to talk about it and I wish more people would talk about it because whenever I look for information because I'm, I'm such a like I I do a lot of research especially on YouTube you can find anything talking about anyone and 
anywhere and anything you want to know. And I just could not find um, any kind of girl, anyone talking about the differences in bikini for WBFF versus NPC. And I think it's really interesting because if I were to know this beforehand, it would have really prepared me maybe a little bit more mentally in what I was, you know, striving for and what I was investing in. So that being said, will I go back to NPC? Possibly. Will I do WBFF again? Uh, I think I, I do want to do another show just because the feedback that I got from that show that I just did, I think I could definitely bring a fuller, better look. And I want to wear that bikini again on stage. It was such a hit, you know, especially with my red hair and everything. <laughs> I want to I want to have at least one more opportunity to put that on the WBFF stage. I can't wear that bikini on MPC. So um, I hope everybody has to all this information and can, you know, you can agree with it. You can disagree with it. It was just something that I was really wanting to have everyone um, listen to. Anyways, I'm done talking. <laughs> uh, happy Sunday, everybody. And I will hopefully have more opportunities to share ideas and thoughts on this. Thank you. Bye.